with Britain. Okay, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folani. Um, yesterday we highlighted in our program, because we're talking about security now most of the time, um, we highlighted in our program that the uh, National Security Advisor uh, was scheduled to meet with, you know, service chiefs, governors, traditional rulers, uh, but the meeting held yesterday. And um, everybody's looking for a way, shall we say, out of our security debacle. And no doubt, um, you know, that is what has prompted the NSA. We're talk talking about some of the things we talked about yesterday, you know, rem remember that a lot of viewers said that the presidency, the silence was deafening, they couldn't understand it. Well, between then and now, not, not necessarily because of our program, but uh, perhaps because a lot of people are speaking like that, um, the presidency, presidency did sort of respond saying that uh, this was a most, uh, uh, it was Garbashehu beyond the presidency. Yeah, Garbashehu is in the presidency, but I did see something that Garbashehu put out that, this is most uncharitable for people to be saying the kind of things that he's hearing on our media. Uh, there's no way you can hold the president uh, responsible or culpable for this and that. And so that's to one side. Now let's look at another phase of our quest to get on top of this situation. And to help me with that is our friend, Mr. Dennis Amakri, M-O-N. Mr. Amakri, former assistant sir, director, SSS. Thank you very much, as always, for coming on, Dennis. Good morning, Yuri. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> thank you for making time for us. There are those who are saying, talk shop, talk shop, talk shop, we've talked enough. But surely there must be strategy. Uh, we must strategize. Um, maybe before I even come in on it, give me your impressions of this sort of um, initiative of the NSA and what you think it's going to achieve. Um, I'm, well, I am optimistic because this is what we have been asking. Cautiously for. or fully optimistic? Cautiously. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, this is what we've been asking for. We wanted the NSA to manage the intelligence community. And um, we've had uh, all the talks going on, uh, remove the service chiefs and all the rest, you know. And now, finally, the service chiefs are back. New people have been appointed. And uh, I'm also very optimistic in the sense that uh, we can see a level of coordination because when the old ones were there, we really don't have this kind of working together. Okay. You know, now he has coordinated them. He has gone to the north to talk with the governors and the traditional rulers. I will expect him to also go to the west mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and talk to the, you know, Traditional rulers, the governors go to the south, south, southeast. Let it be a tour. Okay. Because the problem is a national problem we are having. It's not just in the in the northeast and the northwest, you know. So banditry, kidnapping, all these kind of things is, uh, that are happening should be addressed. And I'm happy that with the new set of people that he has, mm -hmm. I think uh, we should be able to get somewhere. Well, yeah, uh, it's just that uh, we should be able to get somewhere. That's the positive um, attitude to, to bring to it. But the, uh, a lot of people, perhaps you might understand their reasoning, are, are saying that um, the, the, the right things might not have been said yet. And by this, I mean, I go back to the question that we've always had that just about every Nigerian believes in our military, believes in our people in uniform. Yes. And um, they know that there are no slouches. Uh, so there's always been this theory that you civilians, quote unquote, don't understand these things. That if you were to understand it, then you'd understand that if the uh, military was given the direct charge, the direct order, uh, the assignment with time frames, Yes. That this is the order. Yes. They, they, they actually believe that we wouldn't have a problem. Um, that's the theory according to some. Yes. Now, there's a, there, there's a conspiracy theory hidden, embedded in that whole matter of, um, for whatever reason, the president is not about to give that kind of an instruction. I how, how, I, how fair I don't, are these speculations? I don't know, but uh, it has been suggested. Mm. Even you and I, we've discussed it before. Mm -hmm. We have to give them key performance indicators. Key performance indicators. 
Because it's not just go and uh, deal with Boko Haram. Go and stop Boko Haram. No. It should be go and stop Boko Haram, but there must be, you know, uh, gold uh, timelines mm -hmm. mm -hmm. whereby in six months you must have done this. In nine, one year, you must have done this like that so that by the time they go ahead, you know, there should be results, results that are going to be checked, you know, and then if they are falling short of that, you know, KPI, they should now review. Okay. Okay. Review. Mm. It is not just go and do it and you do it for 10 years without any result. People will continue talking. You know, that's why they are saying that some of these uh, uh, government processes mm -hmm. have to be uh, carried out in a business processes. That's why businesses makes, make a profit. You cannot just go down there and say, go and fight Boko Haram. You just keep on pumping money and everything. No. So there must be timeline in doing this thing. Everybody wants this um, initiative to work because everybody wants peace. Um, but it would appear that there are very intricate um, fault lines in, in, in the situation that we're uh, uh, dealing with here. Um, the whole matter of, um, I think everybody's agreed, it doesn't matter who you are, Fulani, Yoruba, Jukun, whoever, everybody's agreed that banditry is banditry. There's, there's no two way to put it. Uh, but the, the, the complicated fault lines that I'm, that I'm talking about is this whole matter of um, rogue herders, so-called, mm -hmm. you know, um, because you've heard arguments from especially the Huber, the Fulanico community that has really taken a, a bashing on this whole matter, yeah. that it's most unfair. Uh, and everybody would understand that, yeah, you can't put you know, the troubles on a people, generally speaking. But the, the fact that herders insist for the moment on doing what they've done for hundreds of years, and mm -hmm. in the process... Are, 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 are wrecking other people's businesses, um, that there is a problem uh, because it doesn't look as if the cattle herders, Meyeti uh, Allah, are in a hurry to adopt modern methods. And that is something that we're probably not going to talk too plainly about. Uh, everybody's going to be skirting around the issue uh, simply because it is thought of as a delicate one. No. Um, Yuri. You know, one problem we have in this country is that we procrastinate and we beat around the bush. Nobody wants to say the right thing, <laughs> you know. And it's not fair because when you continue to do that, it keeps the country on a, on a rigma roll. Now, when you look at it very properly, okay, Mieti Allah, I think, is at fault. Okay. Because what we are having, we know, cattle rustling. It's not a new thing. Cattle rustling has existed. I can't see. I can't you know, see. They, they, can, it has been existing for years. And those are thieves. And most of them are also Fulanese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The cattle rustlers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of them are Fulanese. Yes. Well, Russell, I, I, I'm happy you put it like that. Some of them are Fulani. Yeah, some of them. Be because there are also uh, cattle herders that are not Fulani. No, of course, many cattle herders. Many. Mm -hmm. Even the ones in the north. Mm -hmm. There are many. Mm -hmm. Some of them are houses. Mm. Please, you can call in and join the conversation if you will. Um, the, the, the lines are open now. Mm -hmm. Some of them are houses. Maybe many people don't understand. Well, uh, uh, what was the house of Fulani or yeah. house yeah. or Fulani? Mm -hmm. You know, we are trying to, you know, segment it. But let me tell you, rustlers are rustlers. Rustlers are criminals. They are thieves. Now, those bandits who are busy kidnapping, raping, and stealing, those particular people, it has been identified that these guys are either soldiers of fortune mm -hmm. that came into Nigeria, and they are not Nigerians. We have to identify this set of people and either get rid of them, send them out of the country, arrest them or prosecute and lock them up or, you know, send them to jail. Mm -hmm. Mieti Allah cannot come and claim that they are part of them because when Mieti Allah does that, they are missing the goal. And in fact, they are owning the problem. Mm. 
Mm, I, I, I get one. I don't know if you understand I, what I, I'm I, trying I, to say. I, I do, because... Um, because these are not part of Mieti Allah. And they're not part of Magban. Uh, yet, those organizations have not dissociated themselves yes, totally yes. from them. Yes, Let they have not, because clearly. they are part of, some of them are tribally affiliated. This is this is part of the challenge that we have. And even, you recall that the uh, Bauchi governor um, recently got himself into hot water uh, uh, because it was thought that he was endorsing the activity of criminal That's uh, correct. people before his spokesman, spokesman now sort of, sort of, you know, uh, he clarified it, mm -hmm. uh, let people make what they will of yes. the clarification. Because uh, we have to make that clarification, yeah. whereby we have a problem. Yeah, B because the there are foreigners that are in this country illegally, mm -hmm. and then for a means of survival, are busy harassing citizens of this country. And that's where the Bauchi governor, I think, got into a bit of hot water because he, he opined that... Um, uh, they were actually uh, protecting themselves, no, you know. No. Uh, be, they cannot come and protect themselves because, because they're illegally here. Which is, well, uh, we're not is, talking of headers is, now. Uh -huh. The Fulani headers mm -hmm. are, are peaceful people. They believe in this country. They move their destiny all around. But you have these renegades that have come who are affiliated or, you know, should I say, ethnically affiliated mm, to mm, these people mm, and mm. using that cover mm -hmm. to cause problem in the country. And that was what the Bauchi governor purported to be defending, that they are good guys, uh, Some of most of those herders, uh, but he now made a clarification that, make no mistake about it, I cannot by any way or any, uh, in, in any context be seen to be endorsing criminality. That's true. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but I was misunderstood. Uh, because everybody needs to protect themselves. Uh, not that that went down very well with most people who heard it. That, oh, I, I see the, the, those herders, those renegade herders, uh, so-called, that are actually, because it must be a cover. It, it, calling yourself a herder it must be a cover, <laughs> it's a cover. Uh, for, for other uh, stuff that you're, you're doing. You, you, you refer to them as probably, um, um, so, uh, 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 what is it now? So, 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 soldiers, soldiers, soldiers of fortune. Of, of fortune uh, yeah. Mercenaries, I, 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 I wonder. Uh, because because uh, okay. I, I have a notion of mercenaries being highly trained out of the mainstream, uh -huh. uh, you know, quite frankly, uh, illegal. You're talking of uh, an organized mercenary group. They're not that. They are not that. And the mercenary does not have to be an organized uh, this thing. But these guys are soldiers of fortune who came into this country mm -hmm. with guns. And that because of our porous borders, mm -hmm. and they find out that it's a fertile ground that they can, some of them will work even for Boko Haram. I've mentioned this before. Mm -hmm. So then we'll go to Boko Haram and work with Boko Haram. And then, of course, from there, remember that last time we were talking, when they said that, when some of them are even arrested, they have claimed the 10 million naira for ransom, they've collected it, but when you arrest them, you don't see any money with, it, with them. Yes, yes, yes. Remember? They're still living in their squad. Exactly. You know. So that money, where is it? So this is... The money has been transmitted to yes, the base. Exactly. So which this, is Boko Haram. And this is how this terrorism is being funded uh quite frankly because exactly they say kidnapping money is is easy money exactly uh, uh, relatively speaking that's now, why they are soldiers of fortune so now this is why our own soldiers under the direction of our military chiefs yes. have to be wise and I, I i i don't really believe dennis strictly you know speaking just between me and you that um what you've spoken about is alien or, 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 or esoteric to our people, our men in uniform. No, they are aware. No, they they are aware. aware. Yes. So the, 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 the challenge would be, so they, we know they are aware. You, you spoke earlier about the way we, we speak here, the, the way we say things. Not all things are said. Yeah. Uh, and especially in this sort of intricate one, because um, there are eth ethnic, ethnic relations yes. between our good guys yes. and the bad guys. Yes. Now, whether they will make the cut uh, is, is what remains to be seen. Uh -huh. Let me hear from Ade in the UK. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how do you see? Uh, you... But my, my contribution is this. Yes. If you could remember, during the uh, Buhari in Piat regime, mm -hmm. during the military era, mm -hmm. they banned this uh, open grazing and uh, going about of cows. Mm -hmm. They banned it then. And heaven did not fall. Everything was peaceful. Why is it being caught now? 
for our president to restrict these people that open grazing is no longer fashionable by this time. It's causing a lot of issues. Number two, there are differences between Aousa and Fulani. Mm -hmm. Aousa, they don't have any problem where they go. They mingle with people, they intermarry everything. And the Fulani, they prefer living inside the forest, probably because of their cow. But with this problem springing up now, Aousa, some Aousa are just trying to defend the Fulani. You understand my point? But the Fulani is refusing to disassociate themselves from the bandit who come to rape people and killing people. Look at life wasted in Kaduna, Zamfara, everywhere like that. Um, uh, 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 Mr. Day, uh, Mr. Day, whereas I am following you, it's difficult for you to say what you're saying, that the Fulani refuse to dissociate themselves. Uh, that statement right there is, is problematic. Um, yeah, you understand? Uh, maybe okay, maybe Mieti Allah, maybe Makban, but let not let a you. whole people are, are refusing to dissociate themselves because there are Fulanis that, you know, are bemoaning this situation and are saying that this is not painting us in the right light. And certainly there are, you know, hordes, millions of law-abiding Fulanis. And now everybody is just saying Fulani, 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 which is exasperating and uh, uh, depressing to a, a lot of folks. You, you understand what I'm saying, sir? You are not allowing me to speak, Mr. Uh, you know, Sorry, sir. Continue. You, 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 uh, this is my opinion. Okay. Opinion. Okay. Okay. Our okay. governor yesterday, on Shannon's television, Governor Kedolu said the people committing crime in those they speak one language, and the moderator asked which language they for food. So why is it that why is Andy commit crime? The governor will be coming from not to to come and talk about them. Why? Instead of condemning it. You see, there are no problem in Lagos. Why, why, why is it that where they are committing this crime, they will fly from the north and come and defend people to kill? I love the governor. He's the most boldest governor in Nigeria. Okay. He says, the other will be pan panicking. Okay. You see, you don't need to panic. Let's call it really straight. All right. They are just doing this because they have a president who is their patron. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Ade, for calling in. The opinion, um, uh, quite clearly, is yours. Um, Fulanese everywhere speak Fufude. That is their language. They might have learned Hausa, they might be proficient in Hausa, indeed might be proficient in Yoruba, but their language is Fufude. fufude it doesn't yeah. matter whether you're a criminal Fulani, whether you're a clergyman, you, it is Fufude. Of that course. is their language. I just thought I'd make that point. Yeah. But uh, thank you very much, Mr. Ade, your opinion, and um, we, we allow you know, all shades of opinion here. And so what Mr. Ade has just said is part of the problem that... Um, is exasperating the presidency itself. Yeah, of course. Because, because uh, he is Fulani. Yes. And because of uh, the impunity that these guys are operating, because they were not operating like this before. Mm -hmm. You know, and under that cover, under that cover of Fulani, mm -hmm. you know, he, there are all kinds of conspiracy theories. Indeed, indeed. I was going to go there. there. I was know. going to come to that. Yeah, visit. in the country, mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's, how, there's how the, the political aspect there's to the it. Political aspect there's to the whole it. 2023 dimension to it. All kinds of conspiracy theories, mm. you know. And I think uh, keeping quiet to it is not going to solve it. I think this is the time that the president should come and uh, work on this. Maybe this is one of the things that maybe the NSA is 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 is, is, is spearheading. Well, who knows? Because um, in, in, in this meeting, it was supposed to be with service chiefs and I think with our traditional rulers. Traditional well. rulers mm -hmm. and religious and, rulers. And, and even governors. So, yeah. oh, so key, key stakeholders. People want the president to say something. Um, yet again, if I go by Femi Adishino's uh, assertion uh, recently, because he says the president has indeed been asserting that these are criminals, he has nothing to do with them, you don't need my permission to arrest them. Uh, uh, so who want him to come and say it? Uh -huh. Not through Femi Adishino, right? <laughs> Mazio Korafo, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Yes. Good morning. Now, you see, now, all these things we are talking every day. You see, now, because they are doing the, for a greater Lagos. You see, uh -huh. if you watch the program, you see how people are giving ideas. At yes. the end of the day, what do we do? We have to implement it. When we implement the world, it will be not only change of Lagos, the whole of Nigeria today. Yes. Now, you see, all these things we are seeing today, do you know that if employment opportunities have been created, what are the problems and opportunities? All these vices we are talking every day, but is everything is happening. 
A country like ours, going to now be talking about 61 years of independence. Every day you will hear another dimension of insecurity. Look, we tell you and our guests in the studio. The earlier the authority consigned come out with a modality if they can adapt uh, after this uh, Lagos and uh, Toyota Lagos, come out and map out and make use of this and see that we create a problem that each local government can give a employment to twenty percent of their that is the youth in that place. All these things will stop. Now the government has to be very, very careful. Not only federal or state, even our community. Because if you open radio, television, you'll be hearing so a story that something that are not supposed to happen. But it's happening. Now, what are we going to do is what we should be talking about. Because what parents and guardians, they have a not the question of this issue of going to school. Going to school is very, very important. But many Nigerians are overlooking it. You don't like what the government will tell you, the NCDs will tell you, wash your hands up to you today. 70% or 60% of them, they don't believe it. I was highly disappointed on Sunday. I told one man, say, oh God, see what the church is said. He said, ah, so what is my business? I said, they said, no face mask, no entry of the household. He said, ah, I told him that I should go and buy face mask and give him. This is not a small boy, a grown up young man who has a family. The wife was with him with three children. What do we do? Our level of education is what the government should also address. Mm. And make sure that just are like the, the people in the market. Okay. So they have turned the whole system into upside down. The yeah. earlier they do, the better. Process. This security is not, we should not wait for government to, okay. no local government or community should wait for the Community should start paying their own fees, take their own security, maybe one or five hundred naira, and arrange themselves, protect themselves. That's the only solution. If you see that waiting for Abuja or Capital to come and do it, zero. Thank you very much. Have a great day in Lagos. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Mazi. And um, it, it would also help if all attitudes were sort of on the same page. I refer back to the governor of Bauchi again, who in explaining how confusion came about, uh, paraphrasing his spokesperson and saying that, look, the, the practice of, you know, herders, you know, temporarily staying in a place and then moving on, uh, no damage has been done. Well, that's his own concept of, of what it's like. That's uh, what it should be. Th and that, that is what it should be. That's what it should be. But it's not that way. It's, it's, not, it's not vacant land, virgin land. No, that we that's how it should be. See, one thing is this. People are misunderstanding it. Where they say a Nigerian is free to live anywhere. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when you come to the nitty gritty, I, I can live anywhere. I, but I cannot pack my load and with my family and uh, come to uh, a field mm. somewhere mm -hmm. and then, uh, you know, start to live there. Because that place is designated as maybe a park and you cannot live there forever. Temporary overnight or something, I can pack my car and go the next day, yeah. but I cannot live there. That's why they are saying that you have to have CFO if you have to stay there for a very long time. And then uh, nobody is stopping any Nigerian. Nigeria is mixed up. Mm. Everybody goes to anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't say, oh, you, where's your visa? No, Why are you no, here? No. You are not supposed to be here. Yes. But when you go to wherever you are going, you have to follow the laws or bylaws of that place. So the, the problem seems to have come about because... Um, uh, the, 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 the Fulanese as a people are probably uh, most engaged of all the peoples in Nigeria in, 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 in Nomadic. ranching, in, 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 Nomadic, uh, well, in, in yeah. herding cattle, you yes. know, that's their business. Yes. Um, uh, but now the, the, the problem is, yeah, it, it is your business, but you can't mess other people's business. Uh, and you they, cannot, because they, it's a they, business. They, they don't seem to... Of course, the elites will understand. You know, but but the, I don't know if the bottom of the of the of, of the of the triangles or of, uh, of the pyramid, so to speak, if they understand that we have to make a shift, a, a change from what has been our age-old practice, going back to my great 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 grandfather's time. Yes. This is where the problem is. Uh, Somebody is was problem. talking about education. And, uh, yeah, and I think uh, enlightenment of these people. Is very necessary. How about Jonathan's schools? 
Jonathan's president. The Alamajiri schools. Yeah, that look. Uh, those were supposed to teach people, but anyway, you know, <laughs> they were abandoned after he left. But again, the important aspect of it is that these people have to be taught to know how to, how to change their style. Mm. I'll give you an example. In Bauchi State, there is a Bauchi meat factory that is there. And it has a ranch to eat. Okay. Yes, sir. You know, which can process up to about 150 cows every day. And it can manufacture, or, you know, uh, manufacture yeah. so all kinds of things. That's a model, right? And there. it's there, but they're not using it. They prefer to move they, around because that is the lifestyle. Tradition they so do. with the new lifestyle that this is 2021, mm -hmm. people should talk to them. And this is where the and also help them because which, those which voice will be more influential than that of the president beyond his spokespeople speaking, which they have been doing. Uh, but I suppose yeah. people really want to hear, and everybody, including they, uh, the herders, would hear this. I don't think the president talking to them is even the issue where they will understand. How about the traditional rulers? Because those are people closer to them. Governors, local government chairmen. These are the people that will either, okay, let's have a town hall meeting. Okay. okay. Now, you see, this movement you are moving, we understand you are looking for greener pastures. But in the process, you are running into other people's uh, farmland. But the best way to do it is to ranch you. And there are ranches. They know. Because they know. there are ranches existing in Nigeria for mm, years. Mm, mm, mm. Why don't we do that? All they over say, the country. Oh, we don't have money exactly. to do this thing. Okay. Well, then they can arrange for either soft loans or whatever. Because do, remember, those cattle are not owned by the people that are heading them. That's an important point. The owners can actually open a ranch and put them there. Well, thank you very much, uh, Dennis. So it seems like, um, well, we, we wish them all the luck, uh, but they seem to ha they, they have their work cut out for them. Of course. Uh, there's a lot to be done, and they have it cut out for them, and we'll see uh, how far this goes. That's why I said we certainly wish them all the best, because Nigerians want to be rid of this problem. Thank you very much, uh, Dennis. Thank you for having me. Mr. Dennis Amakri, MON, former assistant director, SSS, and um, security consultant. Stay with us, please. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs>